Oh god, they're both exploding. Hello everyone, my name is Lisa and I'm the Vade Vegan because I'm Vietnam I'm Vegan and today is a chill vlog style what I eat in a day sponsored by Squarespace. So if you want to learn more about Squarespace, just stay tuned because I'll talk about them more later. Um, today is, as I said, a what I eat in a day. It'll just be a day of me cooking. I did go outside. I did go for a bit of a shop slash adventure. It was like my first time in a mall, I think since COVID. Honestly, would not recommend. This is right before lockdown happened in Toronto, but I'll talk more about that when we get to that point. So I started my day off with getting rid of my retainer. Well, I didn't get rid of it. I just cleaned it off and washed my face, I guess. I usually brush my teeth after I have coffee because then that way I can get rid of the coffee breath. I did a bit of a face wash. This is a, it's like a facial soap from Claire's. Um, I can link it down below. It's vegan, it's cruelty-free, and it is probably one of the reasons why my skin has been so nice lately. This is not sponsored. I bought this with my own money. I've recently switched all of my skincare stuff to Claire's for the past probably like six months. So I've been using this for six months now. I also put in my contacts at that point. So there's a part where I'm like kind of blinking funny. I use the toner, the vitamin C serum, and then I have a daytime moisturizer that has sunscreen in it. And then a nighttime one that is just like kind of more light. I'll link everything down below if you guys want to see those. It's a cruelty-free brand and not all of their products are vegan, but they have some clearly labeled vegan ones. That's my morning routine. I'm pretty simple with the stuff that I put on my face now. Luckily, I like work from home, so I don't really have to wear a mask that much and I haven't had that many like acne breakouts from wearing a mask because I just don't go outside. So that's been my secret to skincare lately is not wearing makeup for several months. I used to wear makeup even at home, like even before COVID and stuff like that, I used to wear makeup a lot more, especially for videos, but I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just like 2020 or it's just turning 30 or it's just like that point in my life. But like, I just don't care anymore. And like, sometimes I'll put on makeup if I feel like it. I by no means think that you should wear makeup to go outside or anything specifically. It's just something that I would wear whenever I did go outside because it made me feel like more put together. Lately, I just don't really find joy right now in doing my makeup. So I just haven't and it's been great. But if you like wearing makeup, hey, Wear makeup, cause makeup is fun. Anyway, makeup tangent aside, started my morning off with my usual coffee. This is my favorite coffee bean. This is the Balls X coffee bean. It's ethically sourced and fair trade. I have my coffee. This is made in a Chemex coffee filter. I mention this every time it shows up in the video in case you haven't seen this video or if you haven't seen a video by me before, but I am aware that there is a leather strap on this. I bought this before I realized that there was leather on it. Chemex does have ones that are vegan friendly that don't have the leather strap. I just didn't even notice it because I was like, why would there be leather on a coffee maker. My mistake hopefully will educate you on a Chemex. So I really like my Chemex coffee filter thing. It's really tasty coffee. I tried using my Melita plastic one again and it doesn't taste as good as when I make it in the Chemex. So back to the Chemex. For the coffee, I add probably too much soy creamer. It's the silk soy creamer. I found that they have an even bigger container. So I bought that, it was a great time. So if you guys are curious as to how I make my coffee, it is between 18 to 20 grams of coffee plus 300 to 350 grams of water because I'm really intense about coffee. And this is some raisin cinnamon bread that I made with some sourdough discard up the day before. It is a recipe that I am testing. This one is like, it's good. And I think I proofed it the way that I wanted it to, but I don't think like the, the swirl is necessarily what I want in this bread. I think I'm just gonna make it just like cinnamon flavored bread because the swirl is pretty, but makes it quite difficult to eat. I just ran out of raisins, so I just need to like buy raisins, retest it, shoot it, and then I will put it on the blog. But it's made with sourdough discard. So if you have an abundance of sourdough discard, hey, this recipe will be for you. I don't really like raisins and a lot of things, but I do like it in cinnamon bread. And Eddie's been a big fan because he is an old man and loves raisins. <laughs> I toasted it and then I added some vegan butter, although it was kind of difficult to spread on because of all like the little nooks and crannies, but like not in a good way nooks and crannies. And it was also difficult to eat because I would just pick it up and then like half of it would fall off to the plate. So yeah, the swirl is aesthetic, but it not it's not practical for eating.
And so my morning was just, you know, chowing down on this bread, answering some comments on Instagram. This was a Saturday, so I'm not like technically working this day, but I was doing some work and uh, I was enjoying my morning by reading. I think that day I was reading A Court of Thorns and Roses, but I can't remember. If you guys want to follow my story graph, that's where I put all of my stuff because I've abandoned Goodreads. Before we get back to the video, let me tell you about today's sponsor, Squarespace. If you're launching a new side hustle and need a website to show off your portfolio, an online shop, or your art, definitely check out Squarespace. I made my wedding website within two hours using their built-in templates because my brain deleted any helpful website building knowledge that I once had. Squarespace has built-in analytics and SEO tools so you can take the guesswork out of your search engine optimization for your website. All of their templates are always mobile friendly and don't require complicated code because as I said before, my brain deleted it. So if you wanna get started on Squarespace, Space, go to squarespace.com slash vietvegan and use code vietvegan to get 10% off your first order. And then because I don't think I had enough bread, I decided to make some sourdough discard crumpets, which were kind of a fun experiment and they were pretty fun. I followed the recipe from King Arthur Flour, so I'll link that down below for you. Wow, what a cool texture. Oh no, my crumpet exploded. I don't know what to do with this. like kind of boobly on top. All right, let's try it. It kind of just tastes like a savory pancake. <laughs> I do really like it though, it's pretty good. I don't think it's quite crumpety though. Should I put peas in it to ma microwave so at least we have some sort of vegetable in there? Oh, that's awkward. Well. Outfit of the day. Granted, it's like three o'clock already, or it's four. Oh boy. I read my book for a long while. We were watching a video, and then I read some more, then I was doing Instagram stuff. I asked Eddie if we can go to HomeSense. So this is the outfit that I'm rocking for. It's like five degrees outside, so I'm gonna wear some layers. This is also from Winners. Actually, I think I bought it the same time as that other sweater. Also a mask. Hello, are you getting a coat? Yep. Yeah. I still haven't organized that closet, clearly. I really need to. <laughs> Toronto is on lockdown as of Monday, so. We're doing, oh my God. Feeling this look. I got my high bun situation. 
going to HomeSense and then Canadian Tire and then also the grocery store. So we went to the Burlington Mall, which wasn't super crowded, which is why we even went in in the first place. So we went to Winners, Chapters, well, Indigo and HomeSense. Am I the only one that always will call Indigo Chapters? It's like our Barnes and Noble basically, but Chapters used to be what the stores used to be called or Kohl's and they were all under the Indigo branch, but they rebranded everything to be Indigo, but I will always call it Chapters. Winners and Chapters were pretty empty. There weren't a lot of people and I always love bookstores. Eddie wanted to get a Kobo because he wants to borrow library books like I do with my Kobo and our Kindle doesn't do that. It got really crowded in HomeSense so it was like kind of stressful so we left fairly quickly but the winners and the chapters were fairly unpopulated which was nice. You know got a little sense of shopping. I wanted to do some holiday shopping and just in general looking at books um, because I haven't gone to a mall in like eight months and I probably won again because you know safety and stress. Hmm on sale. Don't mind if I do. I've never heard of Oatgurt. Fermented. Ha. Huh. Beyond Moo. Do I try it? Or do I stick with what I know is good? Uh, which one do I want? Vanilla. We normally get like a Simply Salt Orville Redenbacher, but I don't see any. It's gone. I really miss these, but I want them vegan. I'm pretty sure these are vegan. Sugar blue chosen is for milk ingredients. How dare you? It's been like three hours and I bought a bunch of stuff and none of it was fun stuff. I mean, it is fun, but it's like, it's all groceries. Okay, so I have, will it focus on it? Yeah, so we got some vegan pepperoni. It's like a mini grocery haul, I guess. Bell peppers. Found Impossible Foods on sale. So this was $8.99 each instead of $11.99. Very expensive, but Eddie really likes it, so. Oat cream, it's like cooking cream, and then I also have some half and half. Um, this one is not sweetened. I'm interested in trying both for cooking. I mean, I have tried this one. I do like this one for cooking, but I haven't tried the other one. Eddie wanted fizzy peach water, so that's what we have. And then we have a red onion. I got my favorite kefir, kefir. Um, it's like a yogurt drink. It is so delicious. And this one is the plant-based one, so it's coconut-based. Eddie wanted pizza sauce, so we have pizza sauce. A giant thing of Pringles. Kidney beans for dinner tonight. Black-eyed peas, beans for future dinners, future soups. And that concludes our mini grocery haul. I spent $64, mostly because of the Beyond, or not Beyond, the Impossible. Bought some Roma pizza. This is like slab pizza that's like famous in Hamilton. Literally like pizza crust plus sauce. Um, and it's like very classically Hamiltonian slash Stony Creek. Uh, and it even says vegan on the box. Hell yeah. And Eddie freaking loves this. I like it, but. Eddie loves it. It's like a whole nother thing. So we're gonna have that with our dinner and I'm gonna make some soup. So let's, you know, cook some soup. For dinner, I decided to make a white bean and sausage soup. This is a recipe that is going to be in my soup season ebook. I'm still working on it. I've released some of the recipes on my Patreon. So if you're a patron, you have access to some of them already. And I had some trouble deciding the some of the other recipes because I was like, ah, oh, there's so many soup recipes that I wanna do. A bunch of my patrons have voted on what they like. So stay tuned for this. I'm hoping to have this before Christmas so that you guys can have soup. It's a really good time. I really like this soup. I'm actually really pumped about it. And it's pretty simple. I mean, you can probably figure out the recipe from just watching this, but I'll have the measure that recipe with photos in my soup season ebook coming soon. I'm very excited. I made this, it's in the Instant Pot, but you can also just make it on the stove. I just find it cooks faster in the Instant Pot because I'm lazy.
For a beverage, I wanted to have um, a little fun drink, kind of like a cocktail, but without any actual alcohol. So this is a seed lip. It's like a botanical like spirit, but it's not alcoholic. Um, and I added some sparkling water and some OJ. So this is my quote unquote cocktail and it was very tasty. And then alongside it, I had some of my omega-3 and vitamin D supplement. Um, I also took a multivitamin, um, but I forgot to take a video of that, but it's just like a regular vegan multivitamin. And then after dinner, we did our usual little dinner cleanup, trying to do dishes beforehand so that we don't just, you know, let dishes get gunky overnight because it's easier to clean them when they're like fairly fresh. And then for a dessert, I had the kefir, 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 whatever yogurt drink thing. It is really good. It reminds me a lot of like Yop. So if you guys have ever had that like kids yogurt drink as a kid, very delicious. And um, I really like the raspberry flavor and the vanilla flavor. And then as a snack, I had some bad monkey popcorn. I had like the ketchup flavor. And then for the rest of the night, um, a bunch of my friends have been playing Phasmophobia and that's a little too scary for me. So I just kind of watch them play it. Sometimes I'll play it, it's too scary. I've been meaning to stream it, but it's just, I get so chicken that I just kind of hang out in the truck and I don't really feel like it's very interesting content, but I was playing Animal Crossing for the first time in like months. So I was reopening that, catching some maple leaves and having fun with that type thing and then reading my book. But that is my Saturday and that is the vlog. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's more of like a in between that day in the life vlog that I did last month and a what I eat in a day. So I figured you would enjoy this. Um, if you did give it a like, thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys have a delicious day. Bye.